Jessica Demsack. Um, the nature of my work is mostly dealing with climate change and storms, whether that be physical storms or metaphorical storms. Um, I'm usually working in some sort of wood, whether it is found wood or uh, fallen logs, trees, um, and I usually paint on um, the wood, usually some sort of architecture. So much of nature inspires me. Um, textures uh, inspire me in nature, um, things that are found in nature, unexpected, um, the power of nature in inspires me. Because a lot of my work deals with storms, I'm really kind of in awe of what's happening in our world and the um, increasing, you know, with climate change, um, the increasing storms that are happening and, and the um, just extreme everything. So all of that is just very fascinating to me. Um, but I love a lot of times it ends up being just the shapes and the forms and the textures. I started working um, with the wood pieces after Sandy when it was, you know, no electricity and we had no, you know, heat and we needed wood in order to stay warm and to make coffee, which was super important. Um, so I was really interested in elevating this kind of forgotten stuff that we just use sometimes um, if we're cold, you know, not for you know, more like luxurious purposes. Now, here we are, we really need this wood. And there was so much wood laying around from Sandy. So um, I really was interested in kind of creating work from that wood. And then after I've kind of made work with that wood, I started um, thinking about other storms. Um, I was in New Orleans, I guess, three weeks before Hurricane Katrina. And so I, I photographed before, and then I photographed a year after. And um, so a lot of the images, a lot of the architectural images are from places that have gone through storms and what is left, what has happened after. Um, and so then the, the work becomes, I feel like a monument to some of those places. Maybe they're not there anymore. While looking at the other artists' work, I love looking at the colors and the textures along with um, how it worked with my work, which seemed to be, I mean, some of the pieces were more white on wood, um, which I think went very well. And um, some of Linda's pieces were ha had so much um, beautiful texture and um, kind of echoed both of ours, I feel like played off each other as far as um, echoing some of the silhouettes. A lot of her work was, you know, kind of dealing with silhouettes. Um, and um, I just loved, besides the, the nature um, connection, it was really nice to see uh, how different, but how kind of connected all of the pieces were together. Hi, I'm Linda Dubin Garfield. I'm a printmaker and mixed media artist who is inspired usually by nature, many times from trips that I've gone on. I've been fortunate that I've traveled quite a bit and seen some really gorgeous places. And then I come home and um, do art in either printmaking just by itself or printmaking and mixed media art and um, do what I remember in my mind's eye and what stays in my heart. So I try to capture the feeling or the essence of, of where I've been. It's interesting. A lot of times it's mountains. I love mountains. Unfortunately, my husband is a beach person. So we go a lot to the beach for vacations. But when we travel, we see wonderful scenery and I really like it. And it's color. I love color and I love uh, seeing things natural color. The background here, was that I was going to Harrisburg on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which is not very exotic travel, but I was struck by how gorgeous this area was. The green hills were absolutely green and lush and fabulous. And then I come to a sign and it says Green Hills, Pennsylvania. I mean, they even named it after these gorgeous hills. So I came home and I did a series about that. But many times it's like uh, in, in the show, I had in, uh, work that I did from the American West, which was magnificent. 
scenery. It was just beautiful. And also Japan, which is a beautiful place. So Japan was really uh, fascinating for us. It was a very interesting, beautiful place. And one of the places that really struck me was we, we took a bus trip to what they call the Japanese Alps. And we got there and it was in the spring, but I guess it was high enough up that there was still a little snow on the ground and the trees were gorgeous and the scenery was just beautiful. So I, I used some of my photographs which I sometimes do now. I use the digital imagery, get that printed, and then do my own printing and collaging and other kinds of things on top of the photograph. And a number of those were in this show. I'm Gary Griffin, and I am a painter, although I've worked in many other mediums, in including photography, which I'm still currently showing. I started out as an abstract painter, as did many people in the 70s. The conflict became, in art history, I was terribly interested in Northern Renaissance and storytelling, which didn't really comport with the great paintings I was doing. Slowly drifted away from that and first started doing landscapes. Landscapes allowed me to, uh, take some of the principles of ab the abstract paintings and apply it to the painting, color, composition, things like that. So I started doing art which combined things I see or do, and I became more narratively based throughout the years. And when I was young, I spent a lot of time playing in the woods. When, even as I got older, I've always gone back to that. Again, it allowed me to create art which was based on the, Kind of the shapes and things that I saw there, uh, it wasn't totally dependent on a type of renaissance or perspective and organization which I also appeals to me, but it was something very, very good about the solitude of the landscape, which really attracted me. So the landscape is something I've been around for, again, 40, 50 years at this point. I think the commonality of the art between Linda, uh, Jessica, and myself is the fact that we look at landscape as nature and we use shapes that we encounter and we create compositions out of these shapes. Uh, Jessica was using 3D work with her trees. Uh, Linda is mostly working with, with the limitations of printmaking, which is color related shapes laid together. And I'm in between the, the two of them. I'm, I also probably reference color in nature a little bit more than Linda, but it's the same basic idea of the shape and the biomorphic nature, almost a fractal nature of the landscape. Mm -hmm.